So in this video, we have some summary statistics and we are going to calculate R. So this is what's given to you in the formula book, but there's also the larger formula for R, which has all those pieces in one, in one thing, in one fraction, um, which I tend to avoid. Okay, um, probably best just to work out the individual pieces and then substitute them in. There's less room for error that way. Okay, so what we're going to need is to calculate each of these. So S, X, Y is up first. So we've got the sum of X, Y. So we've got three, seven, six, nine, seven, zero. Take away the sum of X, so two, three, three, five, times by the sum of Y, two, four, three, nine, divided by N, which is 20. Okay, so that's the first bit. So uh, 376970, take away uh, 2335 times 2439 over 20. OK, so we get 92216.75. OK, then we've got SXX. OK, so we've got the sum of x squared, so 361213. Take away sum of x, 2335, so it's 2335 squared over n, so 20. So 361213, take away 2335 squared divided by 20 is 88601.75. Okay, then we've got SYY. Okay, so we've got the uh, sum of y squared, 394449. Take away the sum of y, 2439, squared over n. So 394449, take away 2439 squared over 20. So 97012.95. So R is 92216.75 divided by the square root of 88601.75 times by 97012.95. So 92216.75 divided by the square root of 88601.75 times 97012.95. And we get 0.994724 decimal places. So in this case, uh, that's showing you very strong positive correlation.